We can start that right now. Out of the spray that we made up, take your shaker container after you've cleaned it out and put some of the cement in there. You want to have a controlled situation here for the moment. <clears throat> take your paintbrush and we're going to paint on some of the cement right where we want the grasses to be. Don't get it on the rock because grass doesn't grow on rocks. And of course down here on the base as well. Okay, now that we're damp with the cement, pour it back in your bottle. So you got your shaker again, get your green out. And shake the green right onto that where you've got it damp. Shake on some more of the green. I like to use a little of the forest colors as well. I take the forest green and put it in a few spots. Gives some variation. Now another thing to do, remember we had the grass here that we made? This is where you get to use some of that. Take and tear off a piece and then stretch it out so that you break up the edges so they're not so uniform. And you can put that down and it'll blend right in with the existing grass. That'll give you some depth to it to where you have your short grass and your tall grasses. It doesn't look like a mowed lawn that way. Take a little bit more. Stretch them out. Put it up on the hillside here. And now that you've got the grass on there, now you can come back with the spray and give it a light spray so that it'll work itself right into the grass that you've got on. Because you're not going to put any more on it. So it doesn't matter if you get some on the rocks now. All that rock will do is seal up now so that it won't, uh, it'll have a protective sealant on it now. Let's finish out the rust down here in the lower land area. Take a larger piece and stretch it out. Right in the middle there. Now with our leftover grass that we have here, what you want to do is take your scissors and cut some strips first with it and then cut them into pieces about so big. These are going to be your leaves in the trees. And then take these little pillows and pull them out to where they're all puffed up and very airy looking. So you'll notice that the little pillows will work really well because the polyfiber gives it its, like the stems in the trees, and the grass that you put on it forms little tiny balls that represent leaves. And when you air them out like that, it just, it works really good. <laughs> um, now what you do next is take one of your the uh, stems that you got from, oh, whatever it might be, hedges or pieces of uh, plant life that you found in your backyard. You probably apply just a little bit of the project cement onto the leaves or the stems that you have here. And then all you do is apply your tufts to it to form your foliage in the tree itself. So sticking the little puffs on there does a good job of creating the fullness of the tree. And you now have a little tree. Using a little pin, or I've got an awl in this case, I make a little hole in the back there, put a little cement in, the project glue, and plant the tree. There it is. 
now we have our tree in there. But we need some bushes in there yet too, so we made a lot of different types of bushes here out of the stuff that we collected yesterday. And it's dry too now, so we've got a little bush here that we made. We can put that back in the back for some heavy foliage in the back. We'll put a little spot over here with cement. And cement our little bush in place. Starting to really look like something. But it could use a little bit of color in there too. So let's get another bush here that's got some color to it. Remember we created all of this here yesterday with the yellow. So I snipped off a little piece. In fact, let me get a little bit bigger piece here. There, there's a nice bush. Nice and full. We can put that in here too. Let's go and put a little bit of project glue down and slide it into place. Now we're getting some depth, some texture, and uh, color in there. Now that we got our trees all made, let's put the last of them in. Let's get some bushes into this. They came with our foliage kit. And uh, they're a darker green, so that'll give us even more texture and, and color. There we go. 